Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot, my little bitty tiny 100 plus pound puppy. And this is our brief daily message of hope. And for the first time in a long time, I have a Saturday morning that's not all booked up. I do have a funeral this afternoon uh, and then preparation for uh, the Sunday. Uh, but uh, it's sort of nice to have a little bit of extra time, just a few moments. I found myself thinking of a song I haven't heard, uh, in my mind at least, uh, since the early to mid-1980s. It's a 1975 Maranatha song, celebration song called Wind, Wind. Uh, we had a little wind storm yesterday as a cold front came in. Uh, and the song Wind, Wind, Blow on Me says... Wind, wind, blow on me. Wind, wind, set me free. Wind, wind, my Father sent the blessed Holy Spirit. Jesus told us all about you, how we could not live without you. With his blood, the power bought to help us live the life he taught. Simple little uh, one, four, five song. through my mind uh, and uh, thinking of the power that wind has uh, when it's uh, in great excess and powerful it, it can be very destructive uh, but a gentle breeze uh, I've always sort of uh, made it the equivalent of the breath of God uh, you know we still can't create air and we can't still create climates or environment those are things that God created and gave to us to be stewards of. And, uh, and when we focus on what he has given us from those types of things that are in the natural world, all the way through the supernatural world and the spiritual world, we are incredibly blessed by the Lord. Uh, he has provided so greatly for us, even personally within our own bodies. Now, often we just take uh, those great gifts from God for granted. We mistreat our bodies, we mistreat the environment, we mistreat uh, the creation that God has set us in. Uh, and when we ignore it, and we ignore all those things, uh, that passive in ignorance causes great damage to us because we're not enjoying the fruits of this creation that God has given to us and the marvels of this, this creation. Uh, and I was reading again today through my favorite psalm, Psalm 42, uh, that says this, starts out as the deer pants for streams of water. So my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Uh, our soul has an empty place in it that only God can fill. We try to fill the emptiness within us all sorts of ways and they're always failing us because only God can satisfy the yearnings of our soul. We need him and we need to have a relationship with him to experience the wonders that he has set before us. And when we don't do that, our soul gets downcast. And this is why I love Psalm 42. Two times in it, it says this little, little refrain. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. When we hear ourselves going, why are, am I so weighed down? Why is there such a heaviness around me? We need to hear the psalmist say, why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks who is the help of my countenance and my God. And that same God is right there with you. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Saturday day and, and God willing, 
Dot and I will see you here again Monday, and I hope to see you at Mass tomorrow. God bless you.